In part one of the CMC remote terminal usage, we will review the interface, function, and operation of the Aircraft Diagnostic and Maintenance System, or ADMS, the centralized interface between the aircraft and the maintenance technician for the Pilatus PC-12NG aircraft. The ADMS is composed of the following. A central maintenance computer function, or CMCF, which is hosted on AIOPA and utilizes LDI, loadable diagnostic information, to link the detected fault data to a recognized and stored maintenance message. Also, an aircraft condition and monitoring function, or ACMF, which is hosted on AGM2. And finally, the remote terminal data loading software, which is the graphical user interface, GUI, that can control the CMCF and is hosted on your maintenance laptop. The remote terminal software is the graphical user interface that provides the central maintenance function display. This software item is intended to provide the CMF display for the remote terminal platform. The remote terminal software is located on the Tools CD-ROM. A new Tools CD-ROM is supplied with every new aircraft and when the software version is changed. The remote terminal platform is connected to the CMC module via the aircraft LAN. We will now review aircraft setup requirements for CMC remote terminal usage. The following aircraft criteria must be met. Aircraft on ground. Maintenance test box is required if aircraft is physically weighed off wheels. Airspeed less than 50 knots. Aircraft power must be applied for a minimum of five minutes with GPU, not battery. All MAU circuit breakers pushed in. Next, we will cover laptop configuration and setup needed for CMC remote terminal DLS usage. A PC with Windows XP or Windows 7 configuration is recommended. Power up the computer and let stabilize. Note, utilize AC power outlet. Do not use laptop battery only. Disable any screen savers. Disable any automatic hibernation or sleep modes. Disable any firewalls as they can inhibit communication with the aircraft land. Disable any antivirus protection programs as they can block communication with the LAN. Disable and turn off any Wi-Fi functions. On some computers, there is a hard switch for Wi-Fi as well as software disable. Both must be set to off. Set a static IP address on the computer. IP address should be set to 192.168.100 dot 100 and a subnet mask of 255.255.0.0. This is outlined in the PC-12 NG aircraft maintenance manual. The personal computer should be on and operating before connection to the aircraft. The aircraft can be powered up at any time whether or not the PC is connected to the LAN. At this time you can apply power in accordance with the Pilatus AMM. There are two common methods for laptop connection to the Pilatus maintenance panel. First is the LANTAP-10 may be purchased through ICS Aero. This method is required for aircraft without the connected flight deck modification. It may also be used on aircraft with the connected flight deck modification, though it is generally not recommended due to slower transmit speeds. The LANTAP-10 includes the following. 50 ohm coax cable, 50 ohm coax cable, the T adapter, the coax termination, Ethernet interface adapter, and power cable. They're connected as follows. USB, a 
coax. Ethernet cable. The Ethernet cable will now be plugged into the laptop as well as the USB for powering the adapter. The coax cable is plugged into the LAN port on the PC12 maintenance test panel. The LANTAP10 connection method can still be utilized with aircraft having the connected flight deck modification though the WLAN circuit breaker must be pulled for proper communication. The second preferred method of connection is the single RJ45 Ethernet cable connection utilized for the majority of aircraft modified for the connected flight deck option. To connect using this method simply connect one end of the Ethernet cable to the laptop and the other end directly to the maintenance test panel. Now connected, open the CMC remote terminal icon on your laptop. If the remote terminal displays the following error, confirm the correct version is being utilized from the current aircraft tool CD specific to the current operational software level. We will cover the specific functions and usage of CMC remote terminal in an additional presentation, part two. An additional tool that may be utilized if remote terminal communication cannot be established or for verification of LAN and specific module operation is the ping command. To utilize the ping command, set up and connect the maintenance laptop and energize the aircraft as previously described. Click on the Start or Windows icon, select Run if available, or type Command CMD and search. This should bring up the DOS window. Type CD forward slash to change directory to the root drive. Once in the root drive directory, you can ping the MAU modules to confirm LAN integrity or a specific module is completely inoperable or if it may still have the ability to communicate. Each individual MAU module has a unique IP address. Once in the DOS window to confirm a module communication, type ping space the IP address of the module in question and enter. Shown is a normal communication response from the module. This confirms that the module is at least alive and you can, should be able to establish communication. Failure to communicate with the module re will result in a request timed out message and further investigation of module status should be performed. Note, failure of a NIC will likely prevent communication with all other modules on that channel of the MAU. Failure to communicate with any of the MAU modules during a ping check is likely an indication of cabling, connection, or setup issue. Confirm the integrity of the Ethernet cable or LAN TAP-10 being utilized. You may close out of the DOS window normally remove power in accordance with the AMM on the aircraft and disconnect the cabling and laptop as required. This concludes part one of our CMC remote terminal overview and connection presentation for the Pilatus PC-12 NG aircraft.